Welcome back to Book and Bottle, the podcast show where I, Kalisa, attempt to explain high fiction and fantasy books. While I, Holly, try to keep up. While while drinking, drinking, of course. course. I'm going to try my best to go from beginning to end, including all the details I deem necessary and can remember. So, of course, if you plan to read this book yourself, major spoilers ahead the longer you listen. And fair warning. This podcast is for mature audiences only. But whether you love to read... (laughs) I'm so sorry. <laughs> I see the next. I know, <laughs> but my brain that felt like an hour. <laughs> I was like, "You can hold it," and I was like, "You can hold it." Okay, okay, I'm gonna do that one. I'm so then. sorry. Okay, that's okay. This is the magic of editing. But whether you love to read or not so much, we're gonna have some laughs. So feel free to sit back and relax with your favorite cocktail or mocktail and jump into a world far, far cooler than our own. And if you're feeling a little wild, we created a drinking game to level up the start of your weekend. Feel free to take a shot or a sip every time I'm unsure of a detail that includes any sort of I'm not sure, I don't remember, I don't quite know. And anytime Holly stumbles through reading a quote, although you did very good last time. I I think I panicked because we just introduced this. But please, please, please drink responsibly. We claim no, um, we're not liable for your actions. No liability for your actions. We're all adults here. Make good choices. And you can head over to our YouTube channel to watch this podcast in video format. So in today's episode, we are going to be talking about (gasps) a heart so fierce and broken. The second book in our trilogy. Yes, I believe it's called the Curse Breaker series, which is interesting. Thinking about again, I think it is. Favorite yeah. Curse Breaker. The Curse Breaker series has everything you want in fantasy. Ooh, except for Rated Science. R. <laughs> I didn't know what you were gonna say, yeah, so I no, panicked and did same. the best I could there. Um, definitely a fade to black like YA book which is totally fine in its own right it's a fun because kids need story. good books too so last week we covered the first of the series which is A Curse So Dark and Lonely so Ooh. be sure to check that out if you would like some context as to what we're talking about if you want to be chaotic and just jump on this episode then go welcome. for it we're happy Best to have wishes. you and we love that energy we're here for chaos so Holly walk us through what happened last time so, a girl, her name's Harper, she lives in Washington, D.C., gets snatched from her reality, thrown into this fantasy other world reality with a gentleman named Gray, he snatched her, and a prince named Ren. Well, Ren, if you don't know, this is similar to Beauty and the Beast. Ren is the beast, and he needs to fall in love to break his curse, or he's going to be a monster forever. So every season, they don't say years, they say seasons here, they pick a new girl for him to try to fall in love with. It has not worked for like 300 seasons. Yikes. So Harper wasn't the girl they meant to grab, but that's the girl they got. She's scrappy and we like her. She doesn't want to fall in love. She wants to help all the people. She's helping the people. She's wondering how her family's doing because her mom has cancer and is dying. So that's really sad. Um... There's a mage, but she's been called the Enchantress, who's got all the powers of all the mages that were sacrificed. That's a detail from far ago that you didn't need. Um, and she's she put the curse on Ren that turns him into a monster. And she's just like messing around with his life a lot. So she comes back pretty often. So Harper starts to fall in love with the Prince Ren. Prince Ren starts to fall in love with Harper. He's all like, no, go back to your time. And she's like, but I want to save your people. But I do want to go back to my time. So she goes back to her time. I might have skipped some important details, but we're here now. And she goes back to her time, gets to say goodbye to her mom. So that's really nice and sweet because the mom passes. But is it Captain Gray? Did he have a commander? Commander Gray. He's the one that's been hopping through time to snatch girls for his prince. Um, comes back snatches them he's almost dead so now we have harper her brother jake and brother jake's doctor boyfriend noah so noah helps stitch gray up they go back in time 
or space. I guess I really don't understand this time travel continuum we're in. Um, Ren is stuck in his monster phase. So Harper has to like calm him down a little bit, which she does because they're in love and they fight an army and kind of save the people-ish and gray transports evil lilith back to the washington dc slits her throat we have no idea if that means she's dead or not but what we do know is that the king had two heirs one very clearly is prince ren but then we find out at the very end that the second heir is dun, 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 commander gray oh. So we're going to really see how that all unfolds because that was a lot. Yeah. And Harper and Jake and boyfriend Dr. Noah are all still there currently at least. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. excited to see what happens. A lot of drama. Great. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, To answer your time space continuum question. Right. I think it's alluded that it's not um jumping time it's jumping two different like universes like realities. that are like overlapped yeah so right kind of wherever gray jumped in his world is where he would land like equidistant okay in their so it's world. the same time they're just same living time. different lives exactly okay yeah. now so, you know as much as i know months later gray is still gone Oh. And Jake finally tells Harper, they've kind of settled into a routine, but he tells Harper that like, hey, me and Noah are going to go on a trip for a few weeks, maybe a month, just go around, see the sights. Oh. And he's like, you know, We're you're, as well. you're welcome to come. And she's like, well, I can't. And he goes, just to remind you, you're only 18. You're not a real princess. Like, true. You can have a life. You're kind of choosing to carry the weight of running this kingdom. And oh yeah, and she was really badly injured and it took her forever to recover. That is true. She did get punctured a lot. A lot. Arrow. Arrow. Sliced or stabbed somewhere. Yeah. A lot of... Mm, a lot of wounds. Not for me. Yeah. Not for me. And Ren comes in and he's like totally fine with Jake leaving. Um, but he kind of dismisses him in a bit of a harsh way. As oh, and the, we think the curse is broken. And so <laughs> Ren, says, Ren says that he had sent soldiers to where's Gray mo uh, Gray's mom. Okay. And she had moved. Did you say grandma? No. Oh. I don't know what I was going to say. So I, was I like, write when I stumble over my words, it's because I write in shorthand. I don't write out anybody's name. Everyone oh, gets a letter. Oh, oh, she's tricky. So it's because I only give myself so much space. It's fun. It's a fun game I play. That myself. is a fun game to play. So, and there have been reports that they saw like an injured man leaving her home. Oh. And so they're like, we think it's gray. But if it is gray, like, why has he not come like, back? Come, yeah. Because we know some things that they don't right now. Gray, meanwhile, is in Rilisk, another town. Sure. He's going by the name of Hawk. Okay. Manly. <laughs> and he is working with Tycho at Attorney, which is like an event. And it wasn't until about approximately 10 to 15 chapters later where I learned what Attorney was. <laughs> And essentially, attorney is like this event where common everyday people can go and fight um, oh, fighters, oh. and they they get one opponent. And basically, it's like um, this does not sound fun. A fun everyday like you get a fight for honor and glory if you're up to the challenge. So it's like, are they like not fighting you as hard if they're actual trained fighters? Yeah, I think so. It's because it's like, more about the the glory and of the you know civilian. Yeah, yeah. It's like video games in real life, right? <laughs> and he's working with this kid named Tycho. Tycho's only like a teenager, fifteen, who's only like a few years younger <laughs> than Gray, and the rest of everyone that's in charge of all these kingdoms. I know, right? 
We also get introduced to a character named Liamara. And Liamara is one of the daughters of Karis Loran. And she's gonna fall. And her younger sister, who's about two years younger, Nola Varen. And I don't know why two names is popular and so shallow, but we got Karis Loran, Liamara, and Nola Varen. We love it. They're all headed to Emberfall to talk to Ren again. And the mom now knows that Gray is the heir. Oh. And also... Wait, how does she know? Because she got tipped off. By Lilith? I, no, I think um, with the, the king, the issue with the king of, like, the king was paying her a time to kind of... Oh, maybe to hush hide, money. Hide the scandal. Yeah. Basically, in Sil Shallow... First of all, Sil Shallow has a female ruler. Okay, cool. And we love that. She has two daughters. It's a it's a place where uh, she's not required to have like a husband. It's kind of like you wow, can progressive. Mate how you see fit. Um and also the heir is not the firstborn. It's whoever oh. the the child that the ruler deems like most, most appropriate yeah. yeah and so in this case wow really? Liamara wow she's very smart not very bloodthirsty her little sister Nola Varen knows how to play the part Nola Varen is said to be queen oh so they are headed to Emberfall and they make camp and two trappers stumble upon them and they're from Emberfall, obviously, because they're in Emberfall territory. And so, you know, Karis Lauren was like, all right, Nola Varen, go ahead. Like, you decide what happens. Nola Varen's like, kill, obviously. And Liamara turns to, like, walk away because she doesn't want to see the carnage. She doesn't want to be around all the murdering. And she actually sees um, a little girl hiding in the bushes and she like turns away her guard sees two and her guard ignores it and they don't say anything to like protect the child child. though this child now has like no parents probably so yeah and meanwhile gray working at the tourney under hawk warwick he works for warwick and he has two men that fight, and Cantor is the one that's not as nice. He's trying to get a rise out of out of um the the guys. And Warwick comes and he actually got this creature called a scraper. Okay. So the scrapers scraper. can fly, they have wings, they have skin that's dark, um, like a dark gray. Hmm. And they're explained as like human like in stature okay. and so he got a scraper and Warwick just wants to make money so he's like we can charge people to pay to see this like animal it'll be great and he also announces that the prince has offered a 500 silver reward for anyone who can find the last mage smith. So wait, there's another one? So we find out that not only is there a questionable heir, there's an extra mage. There's an extra mage. Is so, it someone we've already met? Indeed. Mm-hmm. So Hawk starts to feel the pressure of what's going on yeah. knowing he's a wanted man and I hate that name for him but yeah he uses the i forgot bracelet. who he was for a second <laughs> it's like yeah hawk yeah he uses the bracelet one night that him and Tycho sleep in the stables and he uses the bracelet that lilith had gave him to disappear into dc but he realizes he can't stay there obviously um he's more equipped for for his own world so he pops back and Tycho sees him. And oh. luckily, Tycho, great little kid. He's like, I will keep your secret. It'll be grand. 
Meanwhile, Leah Mara and Nola Varen are talking strategy for Nola's marriage to the prince for an alliance. That's their goal. Is they're like, mm, we're going to marry you off to the prince of Emberfall, prince, currently Prince Wren. And obviously they show up and Wren is like, no, no thanks. I have a love. I'm good. They know that Harper isn't a real princess. It's just like one of those things of like, obviously when you're born with money and stature and expectations, there's set rules that she just doesn't know. And so Karis Lauren yet again to kind of tempt Ren is like, oh, Gray knows the identity of the true heir and just leaves. So now he's doubled she his efforts of like is a problem. Yeah. Is Grace mom a mage? We have not met that many women. Does it have to be a woman to be a mage? It does not address that. Because in The Witcher, <laughs> I think mages are male and female. Yeah. Which isn't it... like dictate anything, but He was adopted. I don't think he knows who his real mom is. Right. Is real mom the other mage? Well, but there was another mage. Oh, wasn't there another secret? A secret? Another secret mage we don't know about? Yeah. The dad could have been getting down with all the mages. I don't know. That well, sounds freaky. <laughs> okay, so is it a woman? Did you do that one spell? The extra mage? Yeah. yeah. It's a man. Mm -hmm. It's trust. It's not gray, is it? So. Oh, no. <laughs> gray and, well, Hawk and Tycho frequent this tavern. And Kings, the King's Guard comes in. And they're accusing this blacksmith of being a mage. And they essentially kill him right there. And things are definitely getting really tense of like, people want to get this money. Everyone's like, you know, essentially crying witch to everyone. Yeah. Nola Varen is not used to rejection. Oh. And so... She is a little sister. She goes to bed early as they're leaving Emberfall Meanwhile, Karis Lauren talks to Liamara on page 78, and we get a little bit of insight. I am not heartless, she says, but outside of... Shill? How is... is it S-H-Y-L? It's S-Y-H-L. Sill Shallow. Sill Shallow. The world is full of men who underestimate women. Men who under men who undermine them i cannot rule from a place of weakness i do not have the luxury of mercy and sympathy nor will your sister i remain silent leaving an unarmed man alive doesn't seem like a weakness but maybe that's why i haven't been named heir you are not lesser than nola Varen, she says remember that Leomara. that is why your studies with Klana's son are so important your sister has been named heir but she will need your support mm -hmm. No, I'm not hoping it was shit. If I'm not there, I'm gonna go live my own life. She's like, your little sister is better than you, but, but she's like, still she needs need you. your help. You do all the studying. And so she thinks like, all right, maybe I can talk to the prince and maybe I can come to a peaceful answer. Yeah. yeah. At the tourney, they mentioned that royalty is going to be there tonight and he kind of like tenses up, but he's like, oh, it's he's going to dye his done. hair, <laughs> you know, <laughs> get yeah. on a little fake mustache. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Just pop down to the corner store and yeah. like the joke shop. Yeah. Some molds. Glasses. Um, Warwick's other fighter. I think his name is Jern. Love it. <laughs> Naturally uh he's a good man and he's just trying to make money for his family and but he got he had gotten injured i think he got kicked by an animal oh. and 
So Gray offers to fight and help support his family because Jern can't. Hello. Flipping back over to Liamara. Hmm. She goes with her two guards, Sora and Parrish, to Iron Rose. And it's kind of mentioned when her and Nella Varen are talking that Sora and Parrish kind of have a thing for each other. Oh. Um, and think? they're they're good guards. So obviously Ren doesn't trust them. anybody. He's, I mean, no. Yeah. And that's so, just smart at this point. To try to offer like a token of good faith, Liamara's like, well, no, you know, my mom needs access to the seaport to be able to trade. Like, you know, we're kind of going poor, like we did rely on the the tide. And so he's like, okay, write a letter to your mom to say that you're gonna discuss negotiations. And if she agrees, then you know, we can go from there. So she writes a letter and Parrish goes to deliver it. Meanwhile, Ren is like, psych, I don't trust you guys. <laughs> so jokes. Uh he locks up Liamara and Sora goes on, like, tries to save her. And so he straight kills well, one of his men, I think, kills Sora. Oh, Parrish is not gonna like that. And he locks up Liamara and he, by lockup, he locks her in a room. She doesn't get sent to like a dungeon okay. or anything. She like, you know, she is a princess. After she gets all. a lush hotel accommodation. Yeah. <laughs> like, As per flipping back, this is when we find out that the tourney is like essentially fighting for honor and glory. It's not, you know, you're not killing people. It's it's like a fight, and you're supposed to like play with your opponents for a little bit, and. He so he goes out as Jern and yeah. he finds out that his opponent is Commander Dustin, essentially the guy that took his spot after he left Ren. So oh, they're fighting for a little while, and finally some of the guys from Iron Rose recognize Gray, and so he punches Dustin and runs. <laughs> he lets the scraver go free, who whispers hurry because apparently they can talk and he gets on a horse and he's about to run for it but he becomes surrounded by the guards and also Tycho being Tycho wanting to protect Gray runs into the mix so then they have Tycho to use as leverage and he goes down without a fight he gets knocked out Karis Lauren writes back accepting the proposal Mm -hmm. fake proposal Saying she has one month for negotiations and Ren locks locks her door and it's like, uh huh. Just like that. He giggles in her face. I don't know if I love that. I made that up. That was, that was, that was my flourish. Drank. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Gray wakes up and he's traveling with. Tycho and and this whole group and um Noah's there and he calls over Jake and Jake is absolutely furious he's like dude you disappeared knowing we're stuck here trying to get home and you're just having a grand old time being a stable boy in the middle of nowhere grand grand old time grand grand old great old time and obviously they have to stop for the night because it's a two days travel from realist to iron rose and so they kind of chain him to a tree and everyone goes to sleep and he calls over dustin who is staying guard to play cards flipping back over to liamara next series do not do this to yourself she tries to figure out how to escape luckily the next series is just singular person we'll talk about that later Woo. So she's trying to figure out how to escape. Same thing. The window's too high. The trellis looks too unsteady. And finally, she notices that there's a loose brick in the chimney. And as she's, like, trying to wiggle it, Harper comes in and she, like, pops up. And Harper wants peace, too. Leah Mara is like, well, Ren essentially just ensured that that's not going to happen by locking me up, but thank you. And Harper kind of realizes that she's not going to get anywhere. And she says, you know, call me if you need me. You know, I I was, I know what it's like to be alone here, you know, with her, her own experience. And flipping back over to Gray, he recalls 
essentially the trial to become a member of the royal guard Mm -hmm. is that you are shackled up with no weapons and you have to fight a prisoner who has both armor and weapons ironically his opponent was named Vale. (laughs) that's amazing the overlap is astounding in these books it's like were you all reading the same books like for sure the same inspiration for sure Obviously, he, like, killed the guy really quick. No issues. Um, I don't remember how he killed him, but he killed him right away, and that's how he became a member of the Guard, and then a year later, he was promoted to be um, Ren's, like, Ren's personal guard. Yeah. They make it back to Iron Rose, and he's brought before Harper and Ren and forced, you know, on his knees, and... Ren is like, all right, get him cleaned up and make sure he can't escape. So same thing. Um, Liam R actually overhears Gray being brought into the room right next to him. Oh. And that's when it clicks and she figures out Gray mm-hmm. is the heir. Oh. So now she knows. How? So, what makes her figure that out? Well, because they found Gray just with her mom kind of hinting that, oh, Gray knows who the next heir is kind of playing that game. Well, when Gray showed up, they locked him up and realized with him, the fact that he went on the run makes him look super suspicious. I feel like that's a large leap for her to have made, but it's fine. Did she know all of these details, like that he'd been missing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because remember they had gone back to visit Emberfall and obviously the commander had been replaced. <sighs> yeah. I feel like that wouldn't be something she'd like worry herself with. She's smart though. She's not like a typical royal, mm-hmm. you know. All right, I accept. Okay. And Ren gives this whole like good cop, bad cop. <laughs> spiel to gray i love it you know at first he's like oh like you know come on in let's eat a meal it'll be great and you know i really feel like in another if if things were different like maybe we could have actually been friends and greg tries to convince him he's like knowing who the heir is like this is not gonna help you like can you just trust me and know that He's not going to try anything. It'll be fine. And he's like, no, you have a day or else I'm going to have to get answers from you. And so he leaves Gray's all, all, you know, locked in the room. And sure enough, Liamara finally wiggles enough um, of the brick free to swing open. Um, and he she pops right through the fireplace. The revolving the door. So Greg grabs Liamara by the throat. She kind of likes it. Naturally. And she's just kind of caught off guard of like, she's never been that close to a man. And he uh-huh. accuses her of being a spy. And she's like, well, no, I, I came to like try to be peaceful. But the door, his door lock starts to go. So she hides and Harper comes in and she hugs Gray. And Liamara behind the scenes is like, that's something, something's going on between them. Because again, in their times, it wasn't proper for like men and women to touch each other freely like that. Harper being from Washington, D.C. doesn't think twice about that. Correct. And Harper's really distraught. She hugs Gray and you know, he kind of um, assures her, like, it'll all be okay. She's like, great, you have to, like, promise me you're going to figure a way out of this, like, you know. And so she goes, you know, Liamara kind of calls him out on that. He's like, I assure you, nothing has happened. Nothing will happen. You don't need to be jealous, you sweet, sweet girl. And so she goes back to her room. Gray gets a guard and to to go out freely like he he is allowed to leave his room um and so he goes down and sees that Tycho is working with noah oh and harper's also wants to show off um 
her new skills that she's been working towards and learning. Uh, she wants to show them off for gray. If you could turn to 164. Her smile widens and she blushes, sliding the sword back into the sheath at her hip. Her ten ten tenacity? True. I don't know if I've ever seen the word tenacity spelled out. Huh. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Her tenacity is what I have always liked best about her. How the first day she came here, she lay in wait, then pulled a dagger on me in a uh, real sick drink. Real I don't remember. The <laughs> These are my cities. Realisk. Realisk. Dustin said I'd go down fighting. So, so would she. When we were trapped by the curse, I never dared to allow myself to think of the girls as anything more than a means to an end. But now the curse is broken, and I find myself looking down at Harper, her dark curls shining in the sunlight, her eyes wide and piercing. Her smile fades, sadness clouding her eyes. I really missed you, Scary Gray. Why she called him Scary? That's, sorry, that's, that's a an joke. inside joke of, like, okay. when she first met him, he could be really scary. Okay. So. Oh my god, we're in a love triangle, and I want it. Okay, her, oh no, I said that. And I, you, I offer a half smile, but I'm no longer scary. She leans in. You'll never not be scary. For a fleeting moment, I wonder what it would feel like to trace a finger along her skin. I'm here for it. Love triangle. Love mm, mm, mm. Well, it's going to be like a love square because Leah Moran, <laughs> Leah Mara yeah. is going to be in it too. So it's going to be a sweet square. Solid square. Pentagon if we throw Nola Varen in there. I could see her just being jealous that she's not getting the attention. True. So then she pops herself in the middle. Yeah. It was like, nobody likes me. <laughs> not paying attention to me. <laughs> so Oh, I'm here for this. So I don't know if Harper likes him like that, but I want it. A Ren bit. announces that Silver Moon refuses to recognize Ren as the as the true heir because oh. they know that there's someone out there that's technically the rightful king i mean only by a couple years and gray doesn't fold he's like no you're not gonna get an answer out of me well leah mara sees an opportunity that while you know obviously something's gonna happen with gray later this night because he's not giving up information so she's like, all right, all the guards are going to be focused on that. That'll be her time to run. Run away. Sure enough, Gray gets taken down to the courtyard and he's hung up on a whipping hook. Run! And then they bring out Tycho and also hang him up. And they start going lash for lash. One to Gray, one to Tycho, one to Gray, one to Tycho. Oh, this is really mean. They are screaming. They're crying. I think Tycho eventually passes Run, out. Run, you little bitch. And Is Harper aware of this? How is Harper not like... Harper's not there. <laughs> yeah, Harper's not But isn't she in there. the castle? Yeah, I don't, I don't Harper, know. where the heck are you? And... Gray closes his eyes and everything, like the pressure builds and all of a sudden everything goes quiet. That doesn't feel good. So he opens his eyes and everyone is on the ground. Everyone. He manages. Is this a mage power? He manages to unhook himself. Uh-huh. And uh, he tries huh. to help Tycho down, but he can't. But Leomara got out, so she helps Tycho down. That's nice. And she's trying to tell them they have to go run, but obviously they just got like whipped. They cannot run. Yeah. And they also realize that everyone's breathing, so he did not kill everybody. They just kind of got knocked out. Right. With his magic mage power. Yep. <laughs> Drinks for Holly being right. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's another one. That we'll has to. That. We're gonna yeah. have to add that. You have to. You have to. We might. It. I. I almost might even swap the stutter, the stumbles on quotes for me being right because I'm pretty good. I think you should sip if you stutter, and then you if you get a if I if I prophesy <laughs> <laughs> if I see the future. 
How did you know that was in my head? And I was like, that was not right. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. That's amazing. That, that's why I stopped talking. Because I was like, no, if if you guess correctly, <laughs> well, we'll add that. If, if you get something correct, then you either have to take a shower or finish your drink. If you want to play expert level. Yeah. If not, you can just stick with Yeah, just stick with sips. Stick with sips. We're all adults. We all make our own rules anyway. And rent that, considering it's Monday night. <laughs> sure is and huh i knew that king was freaky (laughs) (laughs) doing it with all the mages doing it well okay so that's where or does that not get explained like why it doesn't get explained and so that's why unless i missed it which is could happen i don't think it's ever explained if like why how he ends up with it yeah interesting also doesn't explain of like if you have two mage smiths have a kid we have versus one half and half yeah if that makes any issues or like supreme leaders never know bridget bridget i thought her name was rebecca was that the last lady no stephanie garver (laughs) That's the last one. Whoopsies. We haven't had a Rebecca this whole time. I was so confident no, that somebody Rebecca said it was, was Rebecca. One of the characters of uh Shadow Games. Okay, moving on. <laughs> moving moving on. right along. Right along. And finally Harper comes down and Liam. Jesus Harper. I'm a little bit mad at her for this. Like you had to know something was Yeah, I still don't tonight. know how she got held up. But Liamara escapes um because you know Gray's like I we can't run, just go. Yeah. And Harper also puts the pieces together. She's like, Oh shit. You're the mage smith, you're the heir. I understand. She turns around, she tells Jake, All right, Jake, Noah, get him out of here. Quick no. like go. Yeah. And Gray wakes up at the inn, the good old inn. Mm. Um, and with Colin, Cole, Cole. I yeah. was that was close for only hearing his name like once. That's I think. true. That's true. Good, good job. Back to you. And Noah mentions staying with Gray is like the right thing to do. It's not only about them getting home anymore it's he said there's a difference between war and straight torturing people true and harper rides up and reminds them of ren's fear of magic and like valid um, but ren's not also doing it you were a magic dragon for a little bit so like let's maybe not be such a hypocrite well that's because he was cursed i don't care you had magic and you killed your whole family. No, he, yeah. So he's scared of the magic. But has also, Gray ever done anything wrong until this moment? Absolutely not. No, but he's so scared of magic, of like the thought of being under another curse. He's he is a three hundred and twenty seven year old, eighteen year old. Stop being a wimp. I hate to defend him. I also hated him in this book. I'm like, is he gonna go bad? Like, is he gonna die? Like, Ren or I been Ren? Mad. Ren. Oh. After you torture people. It's you, not good. No. You don't you don't usually save yourself after that. So she's hoping she can stop him before he gets to Gray, essentially. And so Liamara pops up and she's like, actually, I have a place we could all go. Grand old place called Soul Shallow. <laughs> let's go to my let's take this party to my house. Mind you, Sil Shallow is pretty widely hated in Emberfall. Like the, those are two they are against each other because there's just there was wars and stuff like that. So Shallow obviously is trying to attack Emberfall and like this take like it Connie over. And Eagleton. So it's 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 an issue. So they have to continue on foot and they do have to stop for the night and they realize they can't go into town. It's too suspicious. Mm. Obviously Jake, Noah, um Liamara all have accents. Gray is a wanted man. So First of all, his name's Hawk. He is a master of disguise. <laughs> Obviously. 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 My bad. And he's a man. Wait, 
oh he doesn't know how to use his powers i'm like he's a whole mage there's no way you can't like transform your physical appearance but he doesn't know how to do this yet lilith come back we need you lily (laughs) and leah again just overhearing conversation she's really smart and she picks up on like oh noah and jake need magic to be able to get home that's why they need gray that's why they're sticking around also this dc place like there's no actual forces so that illusion is completely shattered yikes so also the scraper shows up okay yeah and i wrote something shorthand and i don't know what i wrote and i knew i'd forget it but i wrote it anyways you said i'll figure it out literally g slash h slash y h don't know what it means we'll come back to that slash h well harper is the h harper no okay i tried because then y h (laughs) you i don't know why when you say that sorry scarver is what you're saying scraver scraver it makes me think of the bone carver. I don't know. Oh, like the yeah. na- just like the sound of yeah. the name. And my brain's like, hmm, hmm that's all. Hmm. So we realize, we learned that the scraver's name is Isaac. Isaac. It's like Isaac, but they say it's kind of like ice. Like, Isaac. 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 <laughs> Isaac. And he is trying to get back to this place called Ishilasa. Right. Is that his home, and, I guess? Yes. So there was um, a treaty okay. that Scravers would stay on Ishilasa. And because he is out of Ishilasa, he requests an audience with Karis Loren. And he's trying to retrieve something. Um and he won't tell them what he's looking for, but um, he wants to speak with her to see if she has it and if he can get home. Okay. And he also is being helpful in a weird way. And he mm-hmm. is essentially like, all right, my dude, you're going to have to learn magic. And the easiest way to learn it is through necessity. Boom. Bites his wrist, gouges it out. Gray's like passing out, can barely breathe. And sure enough, he just wakes up and he's healed. Why? Because he doesn't think about it, but his body knows what to do and knows how to keep him alive. Which Boom. also mustache makes sense because <laughs> when Gray was the monster, or when Ren was the monster. Oh, sorry, don't be throwing new plot points at bad. me now. When Ron Ron? Ron Weasley? <laughs> My brain merged Ren and Monster. I hate that. Yeah, it happens. When Ren was the monster, Gray always thought it was just he was so talented to outlive Gray or Ren the whole time. Oh. When really it was just he was magic. He could just magic himself better healed. Yeah. How did Ren not think about that either? It's fine. Well, because the Ren, when he was a monster, didn't really have consciousness. So that's why he would wake up and he would see himself covered in blood. And he's like, who? What happened? Yeah, but it's like if you killed your whole family, how on earth didn't you manage to kill your commander at this rate? He is a really talented fighter. Right. Yeah. Okay. So they continue to travel towards Sil Shallow, and at one point, Liamara actually shoots a buck, and Gray pops up, and they have to walk it back to camp, and this is where we start to learn more about Sil Shallow, too, and she says that, you know, strength is kind of seen as, like, a lesser task. It's a lesser talent, so, again, kind of toppling that, like, patriarchy of, like, in this place. Oh, like, strength is just, like, mm. that's nice. <laughs> but it's that when you don't have a brain. Yeah. And so he kind of talks her through it. And, you know, he's, like, pep-talking her to carry this really heavy thing between the both of them. And um, she's talking about how great, like, Nola Varen is. And he turns around and he's like, well, could Nola Varen do this? And she's like, well, no, but... 
you know, again, we don't really treat physical tasks like that. And he goes, well, no, he goes, you were telling yourself you couldn't do it and you did it. Like that's an accomplishment the magic in oh. you. He lives in you. Hmm. He lives in you. No, I'm just saying the Lion King song. What Lion King song? He watches over everything you see. In your reflection, he lives in you. I don't know, is that not from the first Lion King? Was that from the second Lion King? I don't know. It does not sound familiar to me. I mean, it's not. Nah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's not that one, but <laughs> now I gotta figure out where he lives and you is from. I think that's from the first Lion King. It's like when the dad dies. I haven't seen that movie in so long, so I could be wrong. You want to hear something horrible that is completely off track, but related? Yeah. You can say no. I can tell you. On oh, the yeah. I would like to know. Directly related to the Lion King. I just watched a TikTok where a man was like, hey, where did Mufasa's body go because whatever trampled him don't eat lions hyenas don't eat lions mm -hmm. you know who eats lions mm -hmm. other lions you know what little skull Scar was playing with in his cave at one point a lion's skull so you know who ate Mufasa Scar ate him Scar ate his brother that is what I learned like two days ago stressed out wild yeah that was the short version the guy in the tiktok really prolonged all really of that went into it but yeah thank you for the um abridged version i wish i didn't know that i lived such a better life not knowing that i mean it seems par for the course i can't say i'm too shocked <laughs> where do we leave off sorry hmm. you were talking about this the scaver scarver great was wanting to make a deal with yeah karen yeah basically <laughs> forgot so, her name as they're traveling to Sil shallow we basically learn that gray and leah mara both have sleeping problems <laughs> loki so they don't end up talking together late at night Aww, and cuddle. gray is still frustrated because while he's been able to heal himself with all the lashings he hasn't been able to heal Tycho or anybody else oh. yet. And Liamara's like, well, you just have to practice. Like, you weren't great at sword Kill play me. within two days. <laughs> you know, you you it takes time. And so she slices his hand and was like, all right, just talk. Tell me about, you know, Harper or whatever. And um, so he's just, you know, talking and explaining all about the curse and how that went down. And sure enough, by the time he finished, she flipped over his hand and he was healed. Huh. And he's like, all right, do it again. And holds out his hand and she like turns around and slices herself. And same thing. She just puts her hand over it. And she's like, just like, think, calm down. You have to think. And it kind of explains that these like stars building up and he can't force it. He has to just let it like happen yeah. naturally, let it flow and um she's teaching him she also teaches him a little bit of um Sicilia, which is their native right. language in so shallow right basically he manages to heal her so he turns around and is like all right i'm gonna try on taiko and he um you know it, it hurts it doesn't feel good but he does it and so if you turn to page 224 Is it not marked? 224? You've got extra little tabs on the back of your laptop if you find it. I know, that's not... Oh, like this, that, that area doesn't yeah. make sense for what you were referring to? Did I pick... No, that's... We're on to the green book. I was like, maybe I picked up the wrong book. I know, book. that's what I looked to. But I was like, no, I, I kept thinking about how my nails matched the first book. I'm gonna type it wrong. It was like two thirty four. Two forty four. Forty four. I was oh like, I God. bet we just got enough. Take oh, a my. shot for that. That was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the emotion in his voice is so potent that my my own chest feels tight. My hands are shaking like I've been in a battle. This feels powerful. This feels useful. I feel so many things that my thoughts cannot contain them all. 
Regret that this happened at all, guilt that I could not help him before, relief that I could help him now. And underneath it all, so tiny that I almost don't acknowledge it, a kernel of pride that instead of magic bringing fear and torment, the way Lilith did, or pain and death, the way my sword would, my magic brought healing and trust, and that is not a small thing at all. Beautiful. It's like, I can be good. Oh, good. So they decide that Liamara, Gray, and Tycho are going to go into town to trade, and they, they all get, like, code names, basically fake names. Fake mustaches and for everyone. Basically, Gray said that he's traveling with his sister and his cousin. They're all trappers, and mm. they're going to go and trade the buckskin to hopefully get, I don't know, I don't know if they're trying to trade for more food or what, but... Something. So they go to the tavern, and the barkeep is super nice and explains where they can go to trade, and he's like, you know, it's crazy, actually. Seltzer is on attack for a second. On attack. Usually it does make me burpy, but hiccupy. Yeah. Gotcha. Um... He explains that um, it's crazy because actually two of their own trappers just got murdered. We know who they are. And only the girl survived. And so he calls the girl over. Liamara freaks out. And she basically kind of gets noticed. And so they make a run for it. And they run right around the corner into the King's Guard. And King of where? Emberfall. It's Ren's guard who's oh. out looking for Gray. So it's called the King's Guard even though it's, it's called Ren's. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yes. The King's Guard is very large so then he can send. He has his personal guard but then he has men that like go patrol, do what right. he needs them to do. And so they use Liamara. They grab her to get great to surrender and the townspeople come and the girl says oh no like that's the girl that's the girl that saved me and so Liamara while she's being held she manages to kind of maneuver and she grabs a dagger and stabs him in the leg the guard that's holding her and so she runs away and the people revolt they start throwing bricks they start fighting again chaos erupts and it gets to the point where the soldiers actually retreat. Well, and now. So Gray turns around and he sees that Leah Mara is with a pregnant woman who got stabbed. He better go save her. And so he does. He goes over. He saves her. Another woman with a child that I think had a broken ankle gets. He heals them too. And everyone in the town gets on their knees for him. And they recognize Prince Gray. In a wholesome, healthy way. I feel like when the series don't have that, my brain has to like find the little Fill moments Fill that I'm like uh -huh, on their knees. Yep. Well, that's really that. Pro uh oh. But that's gonna make him feel like real important. Yeah. And might yeah. make people think he should be king. So they get put up in the inn. I mean, to in in their eyes, he should. He is the rightful king. Yikes. And Can they be co-kings? That would solve so many problems in this whole series. Like, just work together. Yeah. Like, you know? like a little Liamara, mm -hmm. Nola, Vera. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Nola, Vera. Great. I was going to call her Alan you got, Vera. You literally got three out of four, though, so that passes. Not bad. Like, one's the ruler, the other's the helper ruler. Yeah. And so they get put up in this inn. Again, they're treated really well. They can all stay there, shower, they get fed. And so yet again, Gray goes to visit Liamara in her room and they talk and connect. And he does plan to ask for refuge in Sil Shallow. And she warns that, you know, just so you know, my mom is going to try to force an alliance. So they're going to push for you to marry my sister, Nola Varen. And he's and like, but I'm in love with you. He's like... And a yeah, little bit Harper. Basically. <laughs> and he goes, I don't really want her. 
and she's still shaken up around what happened so he offered to stand guard for her all night outside her door okay so they're pushing at a crazy pace to try to get to still shallow before any more incidents happen and they stop at a river and he's like all right we have half an hour we're gonna keep going and jake attacks him and he literally he literally pins him and starts to drown him until greg (laughs) magic's a little spark of power and he's like this isn't for us this is for you like we all know that there's no way i should have been able to pin you and that's how exhausted you are like he's not sleeping and jake says that he's pushing too hard so he like it's like fine whatever he goes to sit down boom passes out and after he wakes up you know they go jake brings him some food and he's like you know you don't trust anyone you know you ask a lot of people to trust you but you don't trust anyone you haven't trusted any of us to even be able to sleep you like no one and so if you could please turn to page 280 is this real this time it is i found it you keep treating me like this bumbling idiot he snaps but i'm not reckless and i'm not weak i held my own in dc before we ever came here and i can hold my own in emberfall i got your ass at iron rose after ren tore you and Tycho apart and i didn't just save you last night i killed one of ren's guardsmen i put my neck on the line i'm ready to ride into m and it hmm enemy Drink. territory with you you think this is all on the off chance that you might one day be able to get us home are you kidding me jacob i'm not done <laughs> this is my favorite jacob's ever done okay i'm not done i know you spent like four billion <laughs> okay i did mess up because this is getting good i'm not done i know you spent like four billion years trapped in that castle with no one but ren and i won't even tell you what noah thinks that must have done to your mental state but he breaks off and makes a frustrated noise he wasn't your friend gray he had an eternity to be your friend and he wasn't even when you were dragged back to that castle even after everything he treated you like a criminal laying it on thick jacob that's some heavy stuff and i mean he has a point this guy has has a great point served him loyally hundreds of years four billion relatively approximately that killed me and he spent like four billion years serving him yeah and then he turns around and gets like whipped and hunted like what is this an insecure little prince that's what it is so i'm not here for it Gray asks Jake to ride next to him as like a sign of like respect of kind of almost being his second in command. I love it. And I'm so in my mind, Jacob was like Harper's older brother. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if you'd said that or if I just like assumed. Yeah. No. That's all thank that you. That is correct. And so Yamara and Gray sit by the fire and you know they things get real fall in love as Holly predicted and they're like you know he's like you're gonna make a great queen and she's like great you're gonna make a great king and she starts crying and he like kisses her and he's like what's what's wrong and she's like this is great but I'm not a princess like that is going to Nola Vare and she's gonna be queen like again this is not gonna work out between me and you they get to the borders of Sil Shallow, and just as Leomara said, uh, guards are going to come to meet them. And they thank Gray for bringing Leomara back safe. And every hospitality is extended to him and his traveling group, except for the Scraver. The Scraver will have to meet Karis Lauren separately. I so, feel like he's been good. Leomara gets dressed, and Nola Varen comes in, and she wants to know everything about Prince Gray and what, what what he likes oh i hate it all of that tell her all the opposite things and she she can't even bring herself to say anything because she's like well i like this man she sure did and her mom comes in and basically admits that she knew that Leomar was being held prisoner but she was just gonna let her daughter figure it out deal with her own mistakes and Leomar mistakes was like, i was trying to help your dumbass daughter Leomar was like 
Oh yeah, I remember now. I hate it here. <laughs> right, you all suck. <laughs> right. So the queen definitely has an agenda to have Grey become king of Emberfall so they can have a strong alliance. And Grey is in their land and he kind of has to play along for now. Yeah, like he to stay alive. Have too much power. So, can he be killed? He could, yes. But I feel like but... it would be a very particular circumstance. And also, it's not in her best interest because if if Karis Lauren can have Gray fall for, you know, Nola Varian, or yeah. they, she secures the alliance, basically, she can have him on her side. So he doesn't even have, but he doesn't have to play too safe. Then he's kind of like unkillable. I wouldn't say unkillable, and I think no one knows quite the extent of his power. Well, if all the mages' powers only went to those two mages, he's got to have a fair amount of power. Well, he hasn't. He just doesn't know how to use it yet. Like, he's just now learning how to heal other people. He can't, like, make curses or affect other people. Or I'm anything. not trying to make a curse. I'm just trying to keep him alive. I'm just saying. And so... He's too good to be making curses. Nola Varen takes Grey out, and they manage to, she manages to turn away Jake and Tycho, so it's just them. Ew. and two guards and she like takes off they're on horseback like through the city she's going really fast because she wants to win she wants to assert her dominance leah meanwhile meanwhile i was getting ahead of myself <laughs> meanwhile leah mara runs into Tycho and she asks him to accompany her to go see this grave where she wants to go down to the dungeons and her mom pops in she's giving me real favorite energy her mom pops in and, you know, she's like, oh, the scraper says that he had spoken with her mom and she didn't have what he needed, oh. what he was looking for. And he's stuck in this tiny little cage and he kind of warns them that, that their kindness is, you know, not going to go a long way here. And sure enough, Karis Lauren shows up and she sends Liamara away. She's like, don't, you don't need to be down here. This doesn't concern you. Oh. Nola Varen takes off on horseback throughout the city. Gray can barely keep up. And he finally intervenes when these guards almost hit a kid because the kid was like stumbling out and they're going so fast. And the mother thanks him. Nola Varen barely even acknowledges it, keeps going. Finally, Gray turns around and he asks the two guards of like is there um a tavern to go like can we go somewhere and they're like um I, I think you need to like follow her and he's like no no he says you know he realized it's a game and if he wins that's insulting to Nola Varen. if he loses he's gonna look weak so he said the only answer is to not play so they take him to a tavern and um, he's very fond of card games in Emberfall and they go well here in Soul Shallow we play dice and it's like a running joke that he is very terrible at dice oh yikes oh gray so they finally go to dinner and Liamara excuses herself because she's overseeing Oliver and flirt with gray and she goes outside gray comes out and finds her and he gives her his jacket and that was the same thing where like at first she was like oh man to to be in soul shallow and it would be a weakness to show that you're like cold or something and he's like no like this is just how we comfort each other and so they start to kiss again and that's when the screams inside start inside of him <laughs> Go oh, inside of the building. Yeah, it went outside. <laughs> I don't know if that was like a most like a personal journey he was going. <laughs> he started screaming <sighs> inside. Uh, okay, yikes! That's not good. Never is. Why can't his little bracelet take the scarver? I'll never say that right. Scraper. back to where he's going. So I forgot to mention this. When he was working at the tourney, he essentially would keep the bracelet in his little like sleeping pallet. Um, he didn't, he didn't keep it on him, so he lost it. yeah, he didn't. When he when he got knocked out, he didn't have it, so he couldn't like go back for it. 
It is what an idiot. still in the barn of Relisk unless they threw everything out. Everything out. But in theory, couldn't Lilith do that? In theory, he... like he could look. I'm obviously I know he probably yeah. can't do it right now, but that's something he, he can could like learn, learn to, to do. Yeah, for okay. sure. For sure. Screams inside that of tracks. the castle. So they go inside and a man is laying on the floor cut up. And Liamara is still wearing Gray's jacket, by the way. Oh, not great. And Liamara also realizes, oh, it's Parrish, the oh. other guard. He's all like messed up, his eyeballs like half popped out, oh, scrapes down his face. And uh, because Karis Lauren made the scraper do that to him. And she orders Gray to heal him. And Gray demands payment. And she's like, no. And he's like, well, I don't, I don't have to do this. This is not my person, whatnot. Also, why did you, like, make this happen? Like, is, was this her way of, like, testing to see if he could do it? And so she tra- she basically says that, you know, the scraper for breaking the treaty has one year of service to her. And so he goes, all right, I'll heal him. Let the scraper go free. She goes, absolutely not. She goes, you heal him. I'll transfer his year of service to you. And I hate this. So Gray heals him. He gets the scraper. And then as he's walking away, because again, he doesn't like these kinds of games. Karis Lauren orders her guards to take Parrish's eye out for good. So it's just a show to show everyone that he does, in fact, have magic. He does, in fact, know how to use it to a very sense. small extent, but just yeah. kind of um, her but force. That's right. Hands. These are just like words. I'd be like, bitch, I signed up. I signed no papers. That's true. Where's your proof? <laughs> yeah. I was worried she was going to mess with the daughter he likes because uh, obviously he'd heal her no matter the the situation Lauren? Yeah. Lorraine? Liamara? Yep. Close. Give us one name, Bridget. Leah Mara gets locked in her room and her mom comes in and says like you're not going to ruin this alliance. So she kind of locks her in there. Hmm. And also she makes Parrish guard Liamara to ensure she stays in her room in this like sick twisted force of power. Isaac meanwhile tells Grey a story of a prince that didn't want his throne and he left and never returned and he was never heard of again. Hmm. And he goes, you know, Gray was like, well, was the prince you? And he's like, no, it was my son. So Isaac is actually king of the Scrabers. <laughs> and this was his last lead to follow his son. That's like, the, I mean, we assumed it was an item, but that's what he was looking for. This was his last lead. And when Karis Warren said that, you know, obviously she didn't have his son. Yeah. There was no other Could options. She have been lying, though. I don't really trust her. Everyone could lie. There's no... True. And, you know, he kind of mentions that options are limited, but you... You can run from power, but basically you're going to have all these people still targeting you, or you can side yourself with some power. So Gray's kind of like, dang it, okay... I guess I'm just going to have to go ahead and side with Sil Shallow and like move forward because Gray's not going to stop either. I can have both of them hunting me or one of them. <laughs> Isaac, meanwhile, sneaks in notes to Liamara's room because she's trapped in there now. She can't leave from Gray. And he kind of says that it's progressing and he's accepted that he's going to have to attack Emberfall. So Gray starts getting classes on how to speak Sicilia. He gets the like history. He gets all the education. Um, and he's also learning how they fight in So Shallow. And then in the nights, he's tra- um, training with Isaac for magic. 
Yes. Couldn't he say, if you want me that bad, you better make Liamara princess? He just doesn't have that much room to bargain, I think, because right now he's safe in so shallow so like if she doesn't want to agree she could just kick him out and then again he's going to be on the run for both parties Mm. okay but also sometimes logic just doesn't progress the plot in the way it needs to (laughs) progress and Oliveran also steps in to help him improve his magic and he kind of realizes that they're actually very similar um bound Mm -hmm you know bound well in the sense of they're both being bound by duty and they're kind of hiding behind a mask so when he signed his oath you know he had a role to play it didn't matter what Bray actually wanted it's yeah. that's what he had to do which is similar to Nolivarin and meanwhile Liamara is trying to read up on Ishalasa to see get get more information on on all of that and as it comes and explains that so essentially the Scravers and Mage Smiths used to be pretty close. They both mm. stayed in Ishalasa. And whereas it, it was really cold, so they tried to move more south. But again, non-magic people tend to fear magic. And I don't know why magic seems awesome. I, well, if it gets in the wrong hands, like Lilith, you know. But that's just because she wasn't loved or something. Yeah, wait, that was it. Because she wasn't loved, right? She turned. Yeah. Love, man. Love, man. All you need is love. And so he explains that whereas because the the treaty only singles out scravers really and he says the the problem is because obviously scravers are kind of creature like so they can't blend in whereas mage smiths i mean you could look like a simple normal human and that's where it had happened where um they had to come through still shallow and the mage smiths took refuge in emberfall Mm -hmm. until one of the mage smiths tried to seduce the, the prince at the time oh, yeah. who was then king and that went downhill and then here we are now sure did sure did he also brings a note from gray asking about you know gray's like do you need me to rescue you i can rescue you. she's like no no we we have stuff we gotta do i understand the duty behind it all And he finally gets Isaac to kind of like bring him to her room from the window so they could talk and see each other. And they, you know, wholesome again all night. They just sit and talk. And at one point, Karis Lauren comes in and he like hides. And she essentially says she wants to demonstrate that Gray is dedicated to Nola Varen. And so, you know, Liamar can't get in the way. And so she's not going to come to the next party. Oh, wow. So Greg goes down to the ceremony and he's, you know, says the lines he's supposed to say that he's signing with Soul Shallow for an alliance. And so Karis Lauren turns around and she's like, all right, as a show of your dedication, uh, Nola Varen, could you please go get your sister? You know, Gray, I once had you heal a traitor for me, which was Parrish. Um, now, if you could please kill a traitor for me and so Liamara hears that she's essentially about to get executed this mom sucks <laughs> and she pleads with Parrish to let her go and she's like look I know you loved Sora and I'm so sorry that that that, that happened and, you know, my my mom is always going to have power over you, you know. What happens when we invade Emberfall? She's just going to force you to even stand guard in the room that Sora got killed in just because she's sick and she knows she can do it. 
And so he finally lets her go, only for her to run right down the hallway and run into Nola Baron, who's also crying. She doesn't want to sell her sister, surprisingly. I thought she would have just gone straight for Yeah, I've been like, I get the crown, bitch. And so they're crying, they're hugging, and, you know, Nola Baron's like, look, I want the truth. And Liam Mar goes, I, I could love Grey. I could see that, obviously. And so she goes to face them bravely. Karis orders them again for Gray to kill her. And so he boom grabs her, poof, blinks out, goes to DC. Oh yeah, why hasn't he been doing that more? He knows that that's not a solid answer, so he poofs him right back. And Gray explodes. I want a date at least, Jesus. <laughs> Gray go- explodes his stars, his magic. <laughs> right. <laughs> magic <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't that that kind of trip and we'll never know it literally was like 30 seconds we'll never long. know well, and he explodes and stop, stop saying he explodes. is it my fault I don't know how else to explain uh, it combust he combusts. I don't know if that's better or worse. He busts out his stars. There we go. Liamara ends up killing Karis Lauren, stabs her with two knives. Yes. And also, Sil Shala dictates Wait, that. how did we not think about killing the mom sooner? <laughs> Guys! If you if you kill the ruler, you're next in line. Like, you become the new ruler. Oh, so she now just jumped her sister. Liamara has a target on her back. Of like, she's the new queen. So if anyone kills her, like, if anyone wants to be queen, they just have to kill her. Right. But clearly, people don't want to be queen that bad because that mom lived to be a big old bitch for a long no, time. No, that's true, and she does. She does rule quite fiercely. It's like a weird tactic to gain a following. Mm-hmm. Like they they trust in her, believe in her. It's also like a wild thing. So like a like a like a peasant could have killed her, and then like she'd have been queen. Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know if that makes sense, but okay. So Nola Baron helps Liamara stand up, and she's like, "Kneel before your new queen," and everyone does so. And we skip a few weeks. Liamara. What's Ren been up to this whole time? Just like looking for Grey or brooding at the castle. Okay. Feeling very, you know who that's feeling like. Tam Tam. Tammy. Couldn't remember his name, thank God for you. I was He's like being a big old butt crack. And <laughs> <laughs> butt head, sure. Butt crack was not prepared for. <laughs> oh back to you. And so they're both working together to run Soul Shallow. And Jake finally approaches Gray and he's like, All right, I accept there's nothing for me for us to go back to. We'll stay here. Yeah. They're gonna stay. Aw. Could you imagine if Noah was not like that intense of a boyfriend and like you've just trapped me in this whole other like reality that like maybe I don't want to be in because like right maybe we were fresh that is a solid relationship to go through that together just saying I'm mean, like take me back like he has to have family yeah what about Noah's family yeah all right that's all and shoot the plan is to still try to unite Soul Shallow and Ember Fall and he mentions that okay the first day of fall is Ren's birthday and so Liamara is like well instead of bringing him war maybe let's bring a gift right. so Liamara and Grey travel to Iron Rose and they travel openly they're visiting town spending money like making themselves look good essentially and Grey talks to Ren alone when they get there and Ren is angry, but he's also very scared. And it's like, you know, the whole, like, hurt people, hurt people. Sure do. Situation. Um, you know, Ren doesn't think that either him or Liamara are fit to lead. And the whole, like, kindness. He's like, that's not going to Okay, 18-year-old work. that killed your whole family. And Pot kettle. 
you know, Gray Gray gives him his like present and he he says, you know, for for the good of Ember Fall and Ren says, get out. Where's Harper in all of this? Being like my dude. So Ren opens the parchment that says he he essentially has 60 days and Gray's like, don't force my hand. So like if, if I have to, if we're going to war. So I guess we're going to war, but we have 60 days. Oh, there's a lot of days. Lilith has been visiting Ren again, torturing She's him. not dead. And she's actually stepped up her game to the point where she's saying she she knows that if she can't kill Ren and just rule alone. Nobody's going to follow her. Like, that's not going to work. So she says, I want to rule Emberfall by your side. Um, so you're gonna have to defeat Gray, or I can just send Harper back to DC. Mm. So she's using Harper as a means. But why to don't we all come fight. together and figure out how to kill Lilith now that we have a mage on our side, and then we just get rid of her? Yeah, communication really breaks down. So it was like Bridgerton all over again. And that's where book two ends. Are you kidding me? No. Wow. 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 Well. I thought they were going to be, I thought Ren was going to be a better friend and not turn into this. I really lost hope for Ren in this book. And like, when it, it feels very torture, Tammy. I'm like, you can't, you can't just come back from that. Like, I don't care. No amount of sorry, sorry, I was in a stressful situation. Like, sorry, you're ma- sorry that you've been loyal to me your entire life. Gave me no reason to judge you. Yeah, you. You stood by me when I killed my whole family. You don't come back from that. That's rough. So. What are what do you think is gonna happen in the next book? What's it Final called? A vow so bold and deadly. Oh, someone's gonna die. I don't know who, but somebody's gonna be dying. Okay, well, in my dream world, they team up against Lilith together. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if these boys are gonna communicate well enough to get mm-hmm. that across. So I'm hoping. Uh oh, no, Lilith. Oh, Lilith is playing a very inconvenient role here. It's like hoping Harper that can talk to Ren and cool him down. Everyone right. can be friends, but like Lilith is still there trying to cause trouble. I think we're gonna figure out how to kill Lilith. I think she that's the deadly. I think we're gonna kill Lilith. Because I can't plot twist they kill Ren. That'd be crazy. Um, but I said it out loud, so if it happens. Shot, 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 shot. Everybody. Um mm, I did call the love of Gray and Leomara. Leomara. Yeah. I keep wanting to call her not that at all. I hope this Graver mm-hmm. finds a son. This Graver son. How do he hide himself so well? I got questions about that. Does he have got does he have the invisibility cloak? Scravers have magic too. It's a different sort of magic though. Hmm. Well, thank you for joining us on that roller coaster. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to leave us a review and let us know what book suggestions you have. We would love to hear thoughts, comments, questions, concerns. So you can email us at bookandbottlepodcast at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Instagram at bookandbottlepodcast where you can see what episodes are coming out next and even vote on what books you want Callie to read. And right now we're running a promo while not too many people know about us that if you leave us a review um, or even comments. Yeah. Or even comments. Sorry. Um, I might have just yeah, gone crazy we'll, with that. Throw that in there. Sure. Um, we will be for, for every comment slash review, we'll take extra sips beforehand and you can verify that we are doing that uh, on our Instagram. So until next time. Books down and and bottles up. I love how you take such delicate last sips and I'm like, drain it. (laughs)